Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take a look at the all-new 2012 Volkswagen Passat SEL TDI. And this is going to be a full in-depth tour of the Passat. We'll start it up, show the engine, go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Carolina Volkswagen in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. As you can see, it does come equipped with a remote start. This vehicle also comes with Volkswagen's Smart Key Access System. By utilizing the little touch sensitive pads on the door, you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle. Just tap the indentation, wait for it to beep as such, then after waiting a second just grab the handle and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. It's a black exterior with light tan leather and Alcantara interior with black accenting. It also has push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake, hit the button to start. Beautiful. Has the six speed dual clutch DSG automatic transmission with manual shiftability as well as sport mode. Sport mode changes the times of the transmission shifts to give you the appearance of driving a manual vehicle without actually having to shift. DSG or direct shift gearbox is basically a twin clutch transmission, one operating gears 1, 3, and 5 and the other ones controlling 2, 4, and 6, basically eliminating lag and shifting and allowing 1 millisecond shifts in manual mode. Let the stitch D brake, leather wrap steering wheel. Nice and smooth, side bolster and grip extensions, and let's go ahead and cut on the headlights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. All four windows are fully automatic, and let's go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? All new body styling. Has a more raked, chiseled look to the front end. Standard halogen headlamps. Much more stately, luxurious appearance. And the hood lines blend well into the front grille. Chrome running across the bottom of the doors. Standard 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels on the SEL with nitrogen filled tires. Full power sunroof. as well as LED integrated turn signal mirrors. Polished exhaust tip. Then pop the hood. The new Passat TDI is powered by a 2 liter dual overhead cam 16 valve turbo diesel 4 cylinder. Also with direct injection, it makes 140 horsepower at 4000 RPM and 236 foot pounds of torque at only 1500 RPM. It is front wheel drive with a McPherson strut front suspension 
multi-link rear suspension and front and rear stabilizer bars. And with an 18.5 gallon fuel tank, it achieves an EPA estimated miles per gallon rating on diesel fuel of 30 city, 40 highway. With an impressive cruising range of around 800 miles. VW's clean diesel technology helps maximize the performance as well as fuel economy benefits by using diesel power, providing nice amounts of torque, impressive fuel economy, with reducing emissions of about 95%. Quite a unique sound note too while driving down the road. Very luxurious appointed interior with plenty of wood trim, easy to the eyes two-tone interior color scheme, lower storage, power trunk release, power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. They're also heated. Padded armrest. You also have a full power leather and Alken Terra stitched bucket seat with side airbags, three-person memory, your standard adjustments, as well as power lumbar. Quite comfortable and supportive seats with a modest amount of side bolstering. Adjustable headrests as well as adjustable seat belts. And a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel. So let's go ahead and see how it sounds. It does have a rev limiter around 2500 RPM, as pretty typical of these diesel engines. You definitely hear some of the turbo whistle. Go ahead and shut her up. This vehicle also comes with the optional Fender audio system, standard HD radio, Side curtain airbags. Garage home link. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Sunglass storage. Interior illumination. Your fully customizable sunroof control. You can dial it to however far you want the roof open. And a little wind deflector pops up. Also for the vent, you push up and then to close it, push down. Full touchscreen mobile media interface with SD card input as well as CD up above. Different band, like I said, standard HD radio as well as satellite radio. All of your preset stations down here, tune, options, as well as select them between your channels. Your different media options, you have iPod, auxiliary integration, as well as hands-free Bluetooth streaming of audio, and not to mention your SD card input. It's also CD, DVD compatible, and it's a hard drive based system so you can load up MP3 files and use it as an integrated iPod, so to speak. Sound settings, tone, your Bluetooth telephone connection, initialized pairing, by hitting this little microphone on the steering wheel. Dial number. The phone is not connected. And all of the commands are listed within the system itself. Navigation. It's a Garmin based system. Three D map with real time traffic updates, destination assist, 
system setup, your different options. Round guidance is not active. And basically the guide button repeats back navigation commands. And those are pretty much the basic features of the Volkswagen navigation interface. Down below, you have heated seats, three stage for the driver and passenger. It also shows up in your navigation screen. Dual zone, automatic climate control, fan speed, and your different zones. Automatic recycling, off, and syncing both sides with one touch automatic. Rear defrost, front defrost, max AC. Storage with power outlet. Cup holders. Stitched armrest. With your iPod integration, auxiliary input, and another power outlet. Your radio, hands-free phone controls, voice commands for your navigation system, as well as a driver information system located on this side. And basically it shows up in between the speedometer cluster. Depending on your menu, you can select between your different sub-menus. Navigation, phone, vehicle status, and personalizable options cruise control, and intermittent wipers. You also have a strip of wood grain that runs across the length of the vehicle. Analog clock. Fantastic vehicle. We've got to shut her down. And we'll go ahead and check out the back seat. It's a very roomy rear seat wide opening doors and the Alcantara inserts. Solid doors, coat hooks, Side curtain airbags to the rear. Rear illumination. Cup holders and a trunk pass through. Little quarter windows for increased visibility. I'm about 5'10", there's an immense amount of leg room, and probably about an inch, inch and a half of headspace. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Easy opening trunk. With an immense amount of cargo space. Storage wells. split folding rear seats. Opens up the cargo space quite nicely for stowing larger items. Got 
Very nice size glove box, two tier. It's a fantastic redesign. Plenty of luxurious features, all in a nice attractive body. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour in the all new 2012 Volkswagen Passat SEL TDI. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.